Welcome to my channel. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Mods. And today, guys, we are going to be doing our U96 build. So we are going to do stage six of build the U96. And it just looks like we're extending the hull today, guys. Nothing special. Got a nice chunky metal part, though, uh, in this one. So it's going to add some weight. Already, the uh, bow of this uh, U-boat is quite heavy. So this thing's going to be really heavy when it's done. But... Uh, yeah, it should be a nice, fairly simple one today, fingers crossed, and touching wood, of course, because when I say that, it never goes that smooth for some strange reason. Anyway, let's get on with today's build. So, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, guys, so, stage six, six is the hull extension. Okay, so, what we're going to do, is we're going to bring this part across first of all uh, this is another part of our hull um, this is metal so it's really nice and we need this part here and um, <clears throat> we need to basically put this onto here so that's going to go on just like that and then we need to screw that down with three am screws so we will do that. I'm going to need my oil because we're going into metal. Now, I've noticed some people saying that they haven't need to use oil on this. Um, and you probably can get away with it. Um, I just, for me now, it's just a given. Any metal screws that I'm doing, I put them in with a bit of 3 in 1 oil. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a bit of a thing for me now, but let's see. Let's put this bottom one in without any uh 3 1 oil. So, if you don't have an A, let's see what it's like, see if it's not too bad. a little bit tougher than than we're normal but yeah you can get away with no three in one oil okay so now that's in place uh we need to take this is the hydroplane box housing now this is going to be going into here just like that kind of lining up two parts and then we need to screw that in with two AP screws. Yeah, if you if you don't have three one oil, then it can be done. Um, I use it; it just really helps, and my wrists get tired quite easily. If I don't use it. Okay, so that's in place. The next thing we need to do is we need to get this piece here. Now this is just a gear. Um now we've got like this little hole on top there. Just see that. Now that needs to be going towards this way. So if this was the front of the ship, this would be the part side. So we'll put that in. Now I think all will be revealed with this in a sec. So that's just going to fit in there just like so. Then what we need to do, we need to get this metal bar. Now this little metal bar has got a notch in it just on there. Now we want the long end of this because with that notch there's a long end and there's a short end and that's just going to go through there go through that gear we've just put in and then come out the other side and that notch is going to stop it from going any further once we put that in place we are going to screw that in with an am screw into that hole so we're kind of locking this bar in place. So I can just do that. Now this is going to move all over. So I'm going to have to be careful and just kind of hold it. 
Now it doesn't really tighten up very well. So and it's also not going to go all the way down either. So I'll just double check that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just leave that like there. That's just to lock it in. And mine's actually moved a little bit out. So there we go. Right, so that's in place. Next, what we need to do is we need to bring over our whole section here. Now, with this the right way around, this wire is going to sort of plat pass through this, so uh, like that. And then we're going to mount this to our bow section. Okay. Then we need to screw this in with four AP screws. So it's nothing too bad today. I am watching other builders do this though. So I have been watching um, other people do this because that machine gun basket that I I had to really look how it how other people had done it and there's no harm in in researching it because you know you want to make the best you can have a model now my only concern with this one is that's going to happen so i don't know if there's going to be something that's going to stop that from happening but we'll just have to see as we get further into the build so i'm just a bit concerned about that that's all that a bit of a gap there but that all is all there is to do in this stage it's completed work so we've got our little mechanism down here which is going to move um don't know how much it's going to move but it'll move and then also we've attached this section to the bow and that's what that is looking like so guys that is stage six complete well, guys, that's it for the U96 for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Um, nice easy stage, that. Only a few screws and everything. So, you know, and also don't worry if you don't have 3 in 1 oil. You can still do it without it. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, to put the screws in. That's all I'm going to say on that one. And like I said, I'm so used to putting 3 in 1 oil now onto metal screws. It's just kind of one of them things where... Yeah, my OCD says, no, you do it because you might have problems. Um, but it's looking nice. It's uh, growing, which is great, which is the main thing. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to do more. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please could you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.